The design of the Google Pixel 6 is something else, especially the rear, and all thanks to its huge camera bar which gives the Pixel 6 a very unique look and no doubt it's a significant design. I mean when you look at a camera module like this, then you immediately know that it's an iPhone. Now we can say the same thing about Pixels as well. However, Pixel is nowhere near to an iPhone when it comes to popularity. But if someone sees a Pixel and if they know about it, then they can immediately notice. This time you will get a dual tone design and the camera bar works like a divider to separate both the colors and trust me it looks so pleasing to the eyes. So far in my experience a lot of people even strangers asked me wow which phone is this it's looking awesome and a lot of similar comments like this. Well I hope to see Google will continue with this type of design in the upcoming model as well. Well the design is not up to the mark if you see them from the front. I am saying this mostly because of average size bezels all around the display and the average size punch hole too. The bezels and the punch hole could have been smaller to give a more premium feel but overall I like the design of the Google Pixel 6. Alright now it's time to talk about how it feels when you hold the Pixel 6 in your hand. So obviously it feels great and premium no doubt about that but at the same time it's a very huge and a bit heavy phone. So it's not comfortable for an average size hand like I have. My main complaint about the design is that we are not getting enough display size concerning the size of the phone itself. I mean Pixel 6 has a 6.4 inch display size with body dimensions of 158.6 into 74.8 into 8.9 mm whereas the recently launched Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus has 6.6 inch display size with body dimensions of 157.4 into 75.8 into 7.6 mm. So my point is that if you want to give us huge phones like this then give us bigger display sizes as well or make them compact if the display size is less like we just saw in the case of Pixel 6. Now let's talk about the display of the phone. To be honest I wasn't expecting a lot from the display of Pixel 6 but it's surprisingly good and well don't get me wrong it's not as good as Samsung's and Apple's flagship but deeming the price of this phone it's amazing. Not the sharpest, brightest or most vibrant display out there but overall an amazing screen that Google used in this phone. The only thing which I felt was missing is 120Hz. Well nonetheless you will at least get a 90Hz refresh rate unlike regular iPhones. And obviously in Pixel 6 Pro as well as iPhone Pro lineup you will get to see a 120Hz high refresh rate display. So if you love the ultimate HRR then you should go with the Pixel 6 Pro. Now it's time to talk about the performance. This time Google made their own chipset called Tensor and they used that chipset inside the Pixel 6 as well as 6 Pro. Mm, now the question arises is it flagship level and comparable to Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or 8 Gen 1 or let's say Apple's A15 Bionic chip? Well definitely not but it will do the job for you. I never felt like I need more power while using this phone well worth mentioning is that I am not any mobile gamer so I am not sure about gaming performance so no comments on this topic but overall the performance seems excellent in day to day usage and I am satisfied. Now guys it's time to talk about the software a very hot topic a lot of fuss is going on the internet and I am not gonna lie it isn't like that this phone is free of bugs no it has bugs no the two bugs which i am facing regularly in this phone is first um, in the january in the month of january whenever i get a call in the notification panel when i tap on the receive it definitely receives the call but then you can't go to the dialer app you will stuck to that notification panel so that was the bug in january but with feb security patch it will fixed now there is one more bug which is available from the very beginning is that you will get a weird pop-up notification which will tell you that your UI is crashed. Well the fun fact is that your UI never crashed. You can tap on any of the options ok, wait, cancel and guess what I mean you can again use the phone as it is. But yeah that's weird to see at the first place but it's not like it will appear 10 times a day. It will appear once in 2 or 3 days. So that's not very annoying or deal breaker. But apart from these bugs, if you talk about the software experience, then it's same as the stock Android experience. It's smooth, it's lightweight, minimalistic 
and again it's a joy to use this software and pixel 6 is no different so in terms of software i am very happy with this phone talking about the software support then you will get three years of major android updates and five years of security patches which is insane but guess what recently samsung announced four years of major android updates i mean samsung beats google in its own game which is really good to see this healthy competition between samsung and google i hope that google will also announce four years of major android updates very soon now let's talk about rudra's extras in which i mention some extra features which phone packs here if we talk about media viewing experience then i already told you that the display is beautiful and it's very good for watching movies anime or web series but the cherry on the cake you will get dual stereo speakers now it's not the loudest but it's still very loud very clear the bass are also sufficient so that you can enjoy your overall viewing experience and if we talk about other things like the earpiece quality during calls then that's also very crisp and super loud it's so loud that sometimes i have to decrease the volume to keep my conversation secret from others well if we talk about essential features of being flagship then everything is checked here like ip68 dust and water resistance wireless charging reverse wireless charging and you will also get corning gorilla glass victus protection here now it's time to talk about this cameras so after a long time pixel get the rid of that sony imx 363 sensor and this time they introduced a new bigger and better sensor a 50 megapixel samsung gn1 sensor and there is an ultra wide sensor as well which is a 12 megapixel f2.2 with 114 degree field of view now if we talk about cameras then again you will get as usual the contrasty very good beautiful looking sharp images through the main lens of the pixel 6 and also it manages the highlight and shadows quite well much better than the iphones because in iphone what we see that they crush the shadows but that's not the case here with the google pixel 6 and also the dynamic range is on point and i mean yeah definitely the best part of a pixel phone is the photography I mean I used Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 4a and now Pixel 6 and I clicked a lot of photos from these phones and trust me I get a very good satisfaction 9 out of 10 times from my phone. I know it is going to do the job for me. But if we talk about the ultra wide angle lens then that still needs a lot of improvement. First thing first it's only 114 degree field of view it's not very wide. Like in other flagship phones, you will get 120 degree. Now you are getting 150 degree field of view as well in some phones like OnePlus 10 Pro. So it lacks in terms of, you know, quality as well as in terms of wider field of view. Well, talking about macro sensor and telephoto sensor, then those are missing here. So, I mean, if you want telephoto lens, then you have to go with the Google Pixel 6 Pro because 6 Pro has 4x telephoto lens. Now let's talk about the video. Well, it's improved a lot as compared to its predecessors. Well, it is still not as good as Apple and Samsung, but it is not very bad either. I mean, there is not a huge difference between this and the iPhones. But if video is your top priority, like you do suit a lot of you know videos from your smartphones, then I guess you should go with iPhone and also ecosystem is the X factor. So you have to decide according to that. But this one is also very good and when it comes to photography, I guess still for $600, you won't get any better option than this one. Now let's talk about the battery. So I always divide the battery segment in two parts. First the battery backup and second the charging speed. Well the battery backup is amazing here. I'm easily getting 6 to 7 hours of a screen on time on my Pixel 6 with moderate usage and sometimes on LTE, sometimes on Wi-Fi. And if I remain on Wi-Fi all day long, then I get even more than 7 hours of a screen on time, which is insane. But talking about the charging, then you will get maximum of 30 watt charging, which can charge your phone from 0 to 100% in 30 minutes. And Google is very proud to this, um, you know, numbers. But trust me, like Chinese giants like Xiaomi and Oppo just took the battery tech, especially the charging tech, to the whole another level and it's the same like the top three big smartphone companies samsung apple and google just left the battery tech i mean the charging tech now they are not even providing you the adapter inside the box for the sake of business and the environment 
but anyways it is what it is now it's time for the final verdict so again it's a disappointment because i am making this video from india and in india officially this phone is not available however i am lucky enough to get my hands on the pixel 6 but again i mean in india you can get the pixel 6 for 60000 rupees on amazon but you won't get warranty neither service center in india so if you're a tech enthusiast who want to experience pixel 6 and if you have no problem of money and you just want to grab one then i guess you're good to go otherwise skip it but talking about the other markets like usa for 600 dollars this is no brainer i mean you should definitely get this phone like even paying 100 and 200 dollars more for samsung galaxy s22 and iphone 13 doesn't make any sense at least to me so if i have to pick one in usa then i will definitely go with the google pixel 6 so yeah that's it from today's video that's my review i hope you guys enjoyed it if you and definitely consider subscribing to this channel and also tap that bell icon select all to get all the notifications of my videos and like this video so that it will motivate me and share this video with your friends to spread the reach of this video i will catch you guys in the next one until then bye bye take care